No, you nasty. Okay? I know who this is and how you came up in my DM. But with your nasty, yo, yeah, you nasty. Woo! Uh, you know vibes. It's yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snap. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Today's video, if you could not tell by the title, I will be doing some assumptions that some of my supporters and subscribers have of me. And you already know the vibe, so let's see if your vibes match your energy and your energy match your assumptions. I will be reading some assumptions from my Instagram because I made an Instagram post and I had a lot of people participate, so I'll be reading those assumptions. And then on my part two, I'll read assumptions from my actual YouTube community post that I made. If you want your assumption to be in part two or maybe possibly a part three, make sure you head over to my community board and put your assumption under the correct post. Let me help you out, sis. First, I gotta get on the right channel. So it's the third post on my community board. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna try my best to pronounce you guys Instagram names, but I'll also put it here. So first is Aries underscore to the core that you low key crazy, LOL, I am. That's not even like a low key, I own up and admit to my crazy. I am crazy, I can be crazy. I try not to be crazy, but I can definitely be crazy. Like it's no problem to just get crazy. It's sound off. Crazy. That's a good assumption. That's actually the right assumption. This next one? Girl, I, I don't know your name. Kyla. Girl. I'm going to call you KT. Woo. I ain't going to read that first one. But uh, the, the second part was uh, I'm a deep thinker. And sometimes I do like to think deep. Uh. <laughs> You read it, you see it. I ain't reading it. I ain't seeing it. I ain't speaking on it. But I am a deep thinker. Sometimes I like to think deep. Kaida underscore smooth. Humble as hell and nothing would change that. Big period. That's all facts right there, okay? Not nothing, not nobody, not nothing, not nothing. Nothing. All facts. Merkaba, Merkaba 616. Child. You a freak, freak, freak nasty. No, you nasty, okay? I know who this is and how you came up in my DM. With your nasty, yeah, yo, you nasty. You the only one that's nasty in this situation right here. Taylor underscore Lorraine, Lauren 93. You only expose your relationship to Copy, Damo, and Chrissy. Negative. Moving right along. Nelly underscore Nails 7. That you are super chill when first meeting someone. I am super chill. First impression is everything. It sucks when you're meeting somebody for the first time at the wrong time, you know what I mean? That could probably be the worst, you know, first impression to try to overcome or make up for. That you will be the best mother someday. Ah, thank you girl, you know what I'm saying? Cause I want like two or three kids, I'm not gonna lie. If I was to only have one child, I would feel like I'm just settling for that one child. And I don't like to settle. I don't want to settle. So, two, three, max, four. Like, that's the max. That's just it. And at that point, I'm either trying to get my baby girl or I'm trying to get my baby boy. But max, four. That's it. Monster P170. That you're a straight shooter with your feelings toward loved ones. But strangers get hell to pay. Half yes, half no. And then it's kind of like you got it the opposite type of way. You try to be as open, as honest as you can when meeting someone for the first time. Moving on, mx.hx. You sleep with no socks on, laugh my ass off. I don't sleep with socks on. I don't like to sleep with socks on. I really don't like to sleep with pants on. If I'm sleeping with pants on, it's because I'm talking about like jeans. Thick material stuff. I'm uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. XX Caramel underscore doll. That you just want to live life and be happy like truly happy. That's all facts. I want to 
live life, you know, accomplish goals, you know, reach life goals. And my life goals are totally different from your life goals and it's totally fun. But um, a bitch wanna be married and have kids and, you know, live under this roof with my family that I'm building and that I've created with my soulmate. And I wanna be running my businesses and traveling and making public appearance and being this influencer a underscore co i assume nothing and only believe half of what i see hey that's a hell of an assumption right there okay simply dark skin you're really loud but your voice is soft i think your videos are really cute thank you you know it's crazy because i ain't always used to be this loud i used to talk to people like i can't hear you okay well let me just get a little louder Fates underscore mommy one two two three cool advance D chill to hang out. Okay, I don't know what you're trying to say. Trina underscore boo one two three. That's you a free spirited. I guess you can call me free spirit. I don't disagree with you, Trina. I don't disagree with you at all. I believe that I am free spirited as well. Two underscore honorable underscore four underscore the underscore wow. That you are a goal-oriented trailblazer. Whatever that's supposed to mean, I'm going to agree with you only because the whole like goals and being, you know, goal goal oriented. Like I'm always writing down things that I need to do, um, goals that I want to reach, coming up with new ways to save, um, new planning goals. I actually I'm just keep that to myself, but it's just so much stuff that I can like, I'm realizing that I could possibly do and do, you know, and get done. And I'm pretty sure, you know, eight times out of 10 that it can help some of you out there as well. So maybe I'll put my thoughts into action. Let's see. Zumbara, Zumbara underscore 93, you love hard. I do love hard. And sometimes I like that about myself and sometimes I don't like about myself, but it's kind of like embrace who I am. And if I love to love hard, if I love to love harder, that's just who I am, you know? But where I think we go wrong sometimes and loving harder is the whole like self-love and self-care part. We sometimes care for someone more than yourselves and you love somebody more than you love yourself and that should never ever ever come out your mouth. And if it do, that's a red flag to yourself and it should be a red flag to the other person depending on who that person is and if they like to take advantage of things like that but um it sounds cute to say I care for you so much and I care for myself but that shit not cute that shit not cute so um yeah I will love hard but I'm not gonna love someone more than I love myself and I'm gonna care for you a lot but I'm not gonna care for you more than I care for myself and that's just what I'm making my own sticky notes up. And you know, it's time to be smart about stuff that we're doing because I ain't got no time to waste. I'm trying to be married. I'm trying to be married with some kids and I'm trying to I'm trying to build and create. I ain't rushing it neither, but I ain't, I'm not waiting 10 years. That six underscore color underscore swag underscore AG. You are an amazing, gifted, and determined woman who deserves all the blessings coming her way. Thank you. I appreciate that. I am very, um, when you say gifted, you know, it makes me think of something else. But I am very blessed. I am very talented. And I definitely know what I deserve and my worth. Like, that's not it. I have room to still mature. I have room to still grow. I have room for more knowledge and more wisdom. So, yeah, just because I know what I deserve of today is not going to be the same thing that I'm deserving of, you know, some years come down the line. Angela Dot Simone, you have a big heart and you're full of love, but you're guarded. I am very guarded. Yeah, and you, you gotta be because if you ain't, like, girl, you just lose control of a situation. I'm very guarded. Um, I feel like I gotta be in. I don't necessarily want to be guarded. I want to be guarded to a certain extent. Like I want to also, I want to always be able to, you know, not just fall for anything. Bougie pen apples. You have a very specific type. I think I do have a specific type, but 
I low key want to like try something different, go out the box a little bit because you know, Drake, why do I always fall for your type? And then you know what I'm saying? Look how he ended up. You don't want to keep falling for the same type. I want to switch it up just a little bit, you know, give myself something different. I don't want to, I don't want to keep going for the same type. Um, same person. You might have been snobby or bougie in high school. I definitely was not. I just had a badass attitude. I was not bougie at all. And snobby, I was not snobby at all. But snobby and bougie, nah. Same person that motherfuckers stare at you wherever you go. They don't always stare, but for the most part, if they got the opportunity to stare, yeah, they staring, and I don't know what they be looking at. Sometimes, even the babies, the infants, the newborn babies, they be staring. You know, it's something going on that's distracting. And I think it be my hair, like, they probably want to play with my hair. They, they want to touch it, they want to ask me questions about it. And yeah, they want to play in my hair, for real. Same person that you always been skinny and fly. I have been skinny. I had a little extra weight to me in high school. I think the highest I ever weighed was like 109, 107, maybe 111. But my goal weight is like 125, 130, low key. Of course, mostly healthy fat in muscle. But um, yeah, I just can I, can I at least get past 115? Shit, can I get past 120? Can I at least hit 120? Can I at least hit 117? Yeah, I've always been skinny, always. Same person that you a whole freak. I don't know why y'all think I'm this big old freak. Big old freak. I don't know why you think that, but yeah, I can get a little nasty. I like it to be nasty. I, you know, don't give me nasty, nasty, but give me freak nasty. It's a whole, it's a difference. Cause nasty, nasty is like okay, you ain't just nasty. You're nasty. Like nasty, nasty can then go into being disgusted. Okay, freak nasty. Freak nasty is more mature. It's more, you know, OCD ish to a certain extent. You know, freak nasty. That's 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 what I am. Easy dot bro, all you put was snack. Royalty my. <laughs> I think you're talented, sweet, and whenever someone's around you, in some way you touch their hearts. Oh, thank you so much. But I don't want people hearts to be just touched when I'm around. I want my heart to be touched too. So I don't want to just come around and all of my energy be sucked away because I make you smile or I touch your heart or we have good conversations. We have a good time. I need that energy, you know, brought back into me as well. So I want to be able to be around people who touch my heart, you know, because I'm touching theirs. So it's just kind of like that same energy just bouncing off of each other. I don't want to be around people that just sucks my energy out of me. Miss underscore she underscore two underscore deep. You're genuine. You are. You don't change. Thank you so much. I'm never going to be changing ever unless it's changing for the better and I'm only in competition with myself. So if I'm changing, I'm changing for me. I'm doing it for me and it's to help me be a better me because I'm trying to be the best me that I can ever be every chance that I get, okay? Whether the renewal is every week, whether the renewal is every year, the renewal is every few months, the renewal is when Eve come around, that 30 day flush, whatever the case may be. But just know, I'm never changing for nobody but me. Okay, the real Forbes underscore family. No assumptions, I just know that you are a genuine person and you always with the great boss. Thank you so much. I'm getting a lot of like genuine things, talented, you know, sweet, um, me loving hard, and I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Candice underscore T, that you are a good woman, a go getter, and that your food tastes good. Well, thank you so much. I'll be trying. I actually want to cook different things. I'm starting to notice that like I'm just cooking the basics of what I already know. And I wanna cook new stuff, you know what I'm saying? I wanna cook it so I can cook it and be like, okay, you know what, I should've added some more salt, I should've added some cinnamon, I should've added 
this, that, and then cook it again and I get better at mastering that meal and then I can move on to something totally different. But I wanna like cook different stuff and I'm actually gonna have the opportunity to do that because for Thanksgiving, um, my dad is gonna have a menu and me and my sister, we're gonna help him cook a few days before Thanksgiving. And of course, family members that's coming over here, they're bringing certain dishes over. But the night before Thanksgiving, we're gonna have like a non-traditional dinner. So it can be like seafood night, it can be wing night, it can be Asian night, it can be just something, right? And then for Thanksgiving, we're gonna have the traditional dinner. So give me some ideas down below in the comment section. You feel free to email me or DM me. And yeah, give me some non-traditional recipes that I can, you know, possibly make for my family the night before Thanksgiving. And I think that'd be so cool to do. So thank you. The chills that as woo, that as outgoing as you are, you still enjoy your alone time. Um, I'm very outgoing. I'm very outgoing, and at the same time, like I can literally just do any and everything by myself. You like, I do enjoy, you know, my me time, my alone time. Um, I don't mind having company too, but. If I ain't gonna have no company, I'm still gonna be good, still gonna be straight, like, cause I can literally turn up by myself and just be the happiest person. You're probably thinking it was three people in my car when I'm riding, turning up. And it, it just be me. Okay, and this is the last one from my Instagram, and then like I say on part two, I will be doing assumptions from my community board on YouTube, so make sure you go put in your assumptions. And this one is from pretty little underscore Sila. That you are as beautiful in the inside as the outside. Thank you so much. I definitely love all of these assumptions that I got from my Instagram page. You guys definitely have a whole lot of great vibes going on, some great energy, great assumptions. And I definitely appreciate all the assumptions that you had. And thank you so much for participating and sharing your assumptions with me and giving me the opportunity to read aloud and give you a little mini shout out. Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video and look forward to part two of the assumptions. Have a great day, have a blessed day. Like this video, comment down below with all of your comments and recipes. Your assumptions will not go underneath here. It will go to the community board on my YouTube channel. And what else do I wanna say? Subscribe, click the links in my description. I'll see you in this video, peace. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch.